Welcome all, welcome back to Btide and in this video we are going to do the EOS integration kit integration with Lyra template. Uh, this works with any engine template, any Lyra project that you may have. So it doesn't matter. One more thing that I would like to tell new users is Lyra like EOS uh, kit that we have is free and open source. So if you want you can grab it from GitHub or Marketplace. Uh, Although the marketplace is in review, so it will take a few days. But that said, let's get started. I won't waste much of your time. Welcome back to the video. So now what we need to do is just create an empty Lyra starter game project or that's what I'm going to do. I am using version 5.2. So I would be using the version 5.2 for the plugin also. Just creating a project maybe here. Yeah, that should do. And I will leave the name to be whatever the name is. It's unique enough for me to keep it for this video. So as soon as the project is created, I will be back. So here is the project and then we will just go to the plugins folder and copy the US integration kit and paste it there. Oh, it did not paste. Okay. Nice. As you know, US integration kit is open source and free on GitHub. So you can just go and grab it if you don't have it now. And here is the latest version. Oops, I downloaded the wrong version. No issues. I will fix it later. For now, I can just go back uh, to maybe let me check. Yeah, go back and I will just open up the project normally. Now, if you are using the correct version of the plugin, it will not give you the error that I will get like this. This is meant for that. I will while recording, I realized I used the wrong version and I'm sorry for that. But uh, if you are using the right version, you should not get this and the project should directly open. So for now, I will just say yes and it will ask me if you want to rebuild and I will just say yes to that also. Now the project is open. Now what we need to do is we just need to go to the plugins uh, section where all the plugins are displayed. So it should be on the top right corner. I am not able to control my mouse, but yeah, it should be back now. Yeah. So it should be, you should just need to go to the plugins folder and just check the beta uh, EOS integration kit is active. And then just search for uh, the normal EOS plugins that Lyra uses. So for that, you can just search for EOS and you will get all these uh, plugins. You need to disable all of these. Uh, just make sure all other EOS plugins are disabled if you have any like I am disabling them. And all US plugins are disabled, just restart the editor and that should do. Now I will keep on getting this editor uh, message, but don't worry, I will fix it uh, in the later half of the video. Now the project is open. So what we can do is we can just update uh, because that will add a config uh, that, hey, your plugin is like the updated plugin is play uh, US integration kit. So if you go above, you should see a field for US integration kit under game. Yeah, here. Uh, yeah, here it is US integration kit. And we need to just enable the automatically set up uh, kit option. If you want to restart the editor, you can do it now. But before that, we have to fill all these other settings. So let's go and fill these up. So uh, I already have this dev portal open from where I will grab these uh, whatever product you are using just open it up and um, if you don't know how to set the project up and things like that you can check the last video on uh, EOS and that's where we set up the project and the organization and everything from base so that would be helpful. So I'm just copy pasting the values uh, as of now from one screen to another. the encryption key also so I will just uh, set the default artifact to use the number one artifact that was the client artifact and that said just let's uh, restart the project yes and here it is so now what we need to do is uh, basically just go to the output log 
to check if the EOS is active or not. So just to scroll up uh, on top and somewhere you will find one thing about the IK. Yeah, here you see he's created online subsystem instance for EIK and loaded subsystem for EIK. Now this is just a error for NT sheet which if we don't have in the editor. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to editor preferences and enable the logs. We also need to add the auth method, but but as of now, because I just want to see uh, if EOS is active or not, we can just use a normal method. Let's go to front end. I am not sure if you saw that or not, but I pressed on that login not implemented screen by mistake. So let's go to edit and uh, editor preferences again. Before that, let me just open up the front end map. Yeah, edit editor preferences and let's add a login method, maybe for account portal device ID, whatever you want to add. We will be adding two of these as of now. Uh, let's test account portal first. Auth type account portal. And then just open up the game. Now this is how Lyra uses the auto login feature to basically get the things that you pass in the uh, command line and then log in the user according to that. So if you are using Steam and Lyra will basically read the command line and then log in. But you can even use the login with the IK node that we normally have and it should work. So as you saw that pop up came up and then we logged in and now we are inside the game and we should see BitID Studio as a logged in user. And I can even create um, like create sessions with this. But before that, let me go and ch change the account portal to device ID like this, just to show that on the EIK specific features are working, not the US ones. Without the pop up, we logged in and you can see the player name is empty and but we have the valid product id if i go and uh, start a game i i can start in any of these elimination yeah and then i go on the dev portal oh between the two things that you saw on top uh, these two tabs i was just trying to see if we can have another login method but that's not an issue so let me go and uh, copy the user's product id uh, and then just search by that and you can see the lobby came up and this is the current session that we are using and whatever the shooter map map name and everything matches the our current session so that that uh, seems to be working and that means that uh, matchmaking is working correctly so the next thing that we need to test uh, is packaging so let's move on to the pack packaging section to start packaging, just make sure you have the C++ classes. You can just generate Visual Studio files and that should be enough. And I will change the version of my plugin to 2 so that, <laughs> that it gets included in the build. Make sure you download the right version of the plugin, please. <laughs> and then make sure you are using uh, packaging Lyra game normal and uh, also Lyra game from here. Not the Lyra game EOS. Don't use the EOS section. Just normal Lyra game and store the package wherever you want and you will see a few errors that like few warnings that you're not using the launcher version but you don't need to worry about because we are not using the EOS uh, implementation of Lyra itself but from EOS integration kit. So as soon as the build is done I will be back but it seems like the build is going pretty quick so it should be completed pretty quick also. <laughs> yeah the video you are seeing is fast forwarded. So the <laughs> Lyra game.txt is ready. So let's re uh, copy the name of this thing so that we can uh, use the command prompt. Command prompt cmd dash Lyra, oh sorry, dash log dash auth type. And the first auth type would be uh, device ID. So I will be showing multiplayer, so don't worry about that. I In the second window, I will log in as account portal. Yeah, and then uh, you can see again, we have a valid product ID, play Lyra, start a game. 
uh, elimination and we started successfully so let's go and then uh, open the older command prompt again but this time we will log in as account portal you can use any login method that is supported even steam you can just type steam and to use the steam auth method so here's the pop-up comes up allow and we are logged in as bdid studio so let's go to play lyra and then browse and here's the session that we have so we can directly join it and let's see if it's successful or not without doing anything you are in the session and this seems to be working pretty fine just to verify we are both on the same device and we are using eik or eos as a base sdk that's it thanks a lot for watching meet you in the next one